Those are some love punches for you. What's up? How you doing, beautiful? Today we're watching some dogs get groomed. I love dogs and I love hair. You combine the two and you got just the most exciting video ever. So honestly, I've seen dogs get groomed on YouTube before, but all of a sudden today, this uh, recommended video came up on my feed and I saw the thumbnail and I was like, oh my God. Wait, I need to film this. And then the second thought was, okay, nobody's gonna watch this. And then the third thought was, I don't care. They're not normal haircuts. These are like artistic dog haircuts we're about to see. I'm really interested to see in how grooming works. I've given my own dog a haircut before and it was so hard. And the techniques are very different from what we do on people, as you would expect probably. But I'm ready to learn how to groom dogs and my own dog maybe will get a cute little haircut, maybe in another video in the future, we'll see. Let's watch these adorable looking dogs get the most perfect haircuts ever. I'm excited. Let's do it. Okay, so every video today is by a channel called Shoe and Tree. This first video is called Who Is That Girl? I already love it. Like the title just feels like I'm about to see something miraculous and like a really sassy dog. I love that. Oh my God. The ponytail? Oh, I cannot wait to see the creation this woman is about to do on this dog. The dog is already slaying my existence in every which way possible with this ponytail right now. And I'm about to see something better happen. Is that what you're trying to tell me right now? You're telling me this is pre-grooming? This is the dog dirty? Girl, why is the dog so sweet and so calm? Ooh, she's getting shaved, huh? Honestly, I was expecting them to like keep it long, but that's okay. Are you kidding me with this face? It's like, like, what are we doing next? Oh, mama. Hello, little baby girl. Oh, she's giving it a massage. Saya girl, you need to go to this, this groomer. Yours ain't sh compared to this. Stop, this is too much for me right now. I'm already emotional. I've been having a really emotional day and like a hard day and I'm just about to like cry because this is just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. <sighs> okay. Okay, back, to, back to, let's focus. Obviously she gives it a bath. Okay, now what? Oh, you are living your best extra life. Let me focus a little bit more. I actually am trying to learn here. We are going in with the clippers and she's going really close. She's shaving this bitch. Um, and I can say that because dogs are bitches, you know? So like, I'm just gonna say bitch this entire time. I think my dog needs to get like little booties like this on her feet. Oh my God, the hair pulled back like that. That looks like the most chill dog ever. I would wanna hang with you. You look cool. These scissors are really cool. I need these curved scissors in my life. Saya, so I'm gonna give you a... Uh, what? Wait. How did it just turn into my little pony all of a sudden? Bitch. I'm intimidated, like really intimidated right now. This is more than I could ever have asked for. What does the owner ask for? Do they show like a picture reference of what they're looking for? Or is this just like you hand the dog over and they just do their thing? Like, I feel like there's definitely like a whole consultation process and they're like vibing on like what the dog's gonna like. You know, I feel like this is like a real haircut appointment. And you're like looking through magazines, trying to get inspo. There's probably like dog grooming magazines, I'm sure there is. And they probably like find a picture and they're like, let's combine this with this. I mean, these dogs have to be famous, right? Like nobody's just bringing their dog here. I don't know whose dog this is, but I'm intimidated. If I walked in your house and your dog looks like this, I would be so scared of you, but also extremely intrigued. Okay, we have the thinning shears and it's getting cuter and cuter. This is interesting that they use the thinning shears though on this. You're kidding. You are kidding. Hitting. Oh my God, the, the little Brett. Oh my God, this dog's so chill too. It's like, yes, this is my dream. I love this. Groom me up, baby. Oh my God, we're gonna put a ponytail in. <gasps> this is everything I've ever dreamed of. <gasps> no! Oh! No, 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 no. No, I have goosebumps. Can you see? <gasps> mm. From the back, it looks like her name would be Bridget. It's also giving Bridget in the front. No, the dog does not go in public like this. 
Okay, wait, this brings up a story. One time I dropped my dog off at the groomers and I was like, do what you want, but like make the hair short. My dog's a Yorkie Pomeranian, so she can get this long as well, but I don't do that. One time I picked her up and she had like a, um, a bow and a ponytail in the front of her head. And I was like, oh my God, I've never been more embarrassed in my life. I ripped that shit off right when I left. You picked the wrong guy to put a bow on the dog. My dog is a edgy ass bitch. Why is the dog so happy? The dog just looks like, like a human who went to the hair salon and got a new look. Like, why are we looking like a human? I feel like I've never seen a dog look this happy after getting groomed. Whoa, okay, that's a before and after, I will say. I have to say I learned nothing from that. Actually, I did think the scissors were pretty cool, like those arched scissors, but do you think the dog is aware? Like, do you think it's embarrassed? Or do you think it's like full on, like, this is me, this is who I am, like, thank you. I don't know what they're thinking. I always look at my dog and just stare her in the eyes and I'm like, girl, what are you thinking? And I think the answer is they're thinking nothing. <laughs> There's nothing behind those eyes except for like, I want food and I want love until I don't want it anymore. 10 out of 10 for that look. Do you want to come up here and watch the next video with me? Oh, I'm embarrassed though. She looks kind of ratty right now because she needs a new groomer. They don't have an appointment for like another month. So don't make fun of her. She looks cute. Excuse me, little ratty girl. Have you seen my dog, Saya? Oh no, no, let's fix your hair. Oh, she was sleeping, that's why. Okay, this next video is called Earmuff and really warm. I don't know what that means, but sure we'll find out. Oh, look at the little fluffies. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the doggies right here. Okay, they're already like so scrumptious and cute. I don't, how are they gonna get any cuter than this? Oh my God. Look at the little butt in the air. Oh, look at the little butt in the air. You would do something like that, wouldn't you, Sayame? You would do something like that. You put your little butt in the air like this while they do your little haircut. Yo, these dogs are mad chill. They're just hanging out. They're like, bitch, this is my sh <laughs> The way it was just laying on its back like that. This is why I have a love for small dogs. They can be so annoying and like yappy, but also at the same time can just be the most chill little creatures ever. I like this technique though, where they go in with the clippers. That's cool. I'm gonna use that from now on when Saya's hair gets long on her paws. Oh my God, you're so cute. The ears, yo, that dog's chilling. Seems a little too chill. I don't know. These dogs are chilling. They are besties. They are probably brother and sister and they are getting washed and they're living for, okay, not living for it anymore. Doesn't want to be there at all. Why the dogs look so ugly, but so cute at the same time when they are wet. My dog looks so hideous when it's wet. All oh, the little bugs. Bubble bath. You like the little bubbles. Oh my god, I need to go cry. I need to go cry. The fact that the dog is falling asleep is the cutest thing I've ever seen. What was that little carriage? They just brought the dogs in. Are you kidding. Whoever's behind this video, like doing all this recording and editing, like y'all are genius. This could not get any cuter. I can't wait to see the haircut. Okay, we're going in. We got those clippers out. We're taking it down short on the torso and we're going in with those curved scissors again and we're going in between the feet. Gotta get those feet nice and clean, line those edges up, absolutely. What I'm really excited about is this part of the haircut um, because I feel like we're gonna get some really great shapes going on. Can we just talk about how talented this groomer is? It's incredible. The fact that they're working on a dog that moves around and making those perfect lines and those perfect shapes out of hair is just wild to me. Like the precision. And this hair is gonna grow back out in like two weeks. Oh, we're doing the same vibe as the last one. We're getting the same sort of like, you know, boot moment going on. These are some high fashion looks. I don't know. Next fashion week, you might have to get a little haircut. Might have to get you all groomed up. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, they're really close to those eyes. Okay, how are they just like cutting away? Like you're not scared you're gonna get their skin or like they're gonna, the dog's gonna bark or move or like what, these dogs are like that chill that you just trust that they are never gonna move again. Oh my God. Oh, the shape that is starting to emerge is better than I thought it was gonna be. The dog literally likes it. She's like, yo, where's my brother? Where'd he go? Cause I'm scared. I don't know what she, this lady's doing, but I'm getting a little nervous. No, honestly, the dog's living. I don't think the dog's upset at all. The shape, the earmuffs, and the thing. Ooh, ooh. Seeing it walk was even better than when it was sitting still. You could see the fluffy ears bouncing up and down. I'm learning absolutely nothing about grooming, but I'm so intrigued that I don't even care. Okay, now we're doing the, the twin. I hope they match. Please give me a twinning moment. The craftsmanship on this haircut is gorgeous. Ugh. I'm gonna f 
Smash my computer on the ground. This is the cheapest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god. What the hell is going on with their hair though? <laughs> if I show up to somebody's house and their dogs look like this, I don't know what I would say. I would be very caught off guard and I would be like, whoa, whoa. Y'all really went for it with this cut. But I would also very much appreciate it. I would look at every little detail. I would hold that puppy up so high and just stare at all the angles. And just, wow, the craftsmanship on this dog. I don't know if I could do this. This is art, baby. This is all around just artistic and heavenly. And as a hairstylist, I can so appreciate the amount of time and effort that has gone into this haircut. They got sassier after that cut. Do you see this? They got much sassier. Yeah, Saya does not need that. She does not need to be any more sassy, do you? Cuteness overload, once again. We're watching one last video because I can't, I need more of this in my life. This one's called Dog Pet Puppy Pomeranian Grooming Teddy Bear Style. Everything about that sentence is what I need, especially the teddy bear part. I know white dogs get a bad rep, but like this white dog is precious. The eyes, you can tell it's just a sweet little monkey girl. Little, little kisses. That dog needs a trim. I'm glad that they brought, holy that's a lot of hair. You missed your appointment or what? What's going on? You were supposed to be there six weeks ago. I can tell. You better get in that salon and get your hair done. And I, I gl I'm glad you are because it wasn't looking too cute. This looks like a lot of fun. If you guys want to see me groom my dog, just let me know because I'm ready to do a video about it and I'm ready to give her the cutest look ever and be so embarrassed walking on the street with her because she's a ponytail. I should grow Saya's hair out and then do like a whole thing. Oh, it's time for my favorite part. They get the wash. This is the favorite part. This is when they get the little massage. I gotta start doing that with you, Saya. When I give you a bath, we're gonna give you massages now. Our dog is just the most precious little pieces of joy. Is it laying down? I can't even tell. It is laying down. You can't even tell. It's just one big fluff ball. Okay, this is just so satisfying though, watching those rounded shears just perfectly chop off that hair. Okay, we're going in with those thinning shears. I think it's so interesting that they use thinning shears to cut dog's hair a lot. That seems a lot easier because you don't make as many errors with the thinning shears, but we're starting to round that fur off. We're getting another rounded teddy bear look and it seems to be this girl's signature style. So I'm absolutely here for it 100% of the time. This dog's not as much living for it as the other ones. You can tell like the face. It's like, bro, this is cool and all. And like, thanks mom and dad for like paying for this. But can y'all just give me a regular haircut or what? Okay, wait, no, it's living. You tricked me. I thought you didn't like it, but you do. Ah, look at the smile. It looks really human. Okay, thank you. It's enough of that smile. All I know is that if I took my dog home and it looked this fluffy, I would have to cuddle the sh out of it. This is a great part too, getting the eyes. Cause you gotta keep those eyes clean, girls. And it's not easy with these dogs. Their eyes get very dirty. If you got a dog with dirty eyes, clean their damn eyes, okay? It ain't cute. Nobody likes it. The shape is starting to form. And honestly, it's even better than I expected it would be. I want her to cut my hair because I feel like I would get the best haircut of my life. It'd be very different, but like still the best haircut of my life. Oh. We're starting to see the end result and it's blowing my mind how horrible it is. Where are the ears? How is it all just like one? It's one piece. Look at the little grown up face. She looks like a little old man in a baby body. Oh, little chubster. We have a little chubster. Great work with that haircut. But I really wasn't even paying attention to the haircut. I was just looking at the cuteness on the screen. <sighs> wow, that was beautiful. Thank you. That was so cute. Saya, um, girl, just know that when you get groomed the next time, you're gonna look a little different because I'm inspired. And I feel like I need to give you something crazy now. And I'm sorry if you don't want that, but it's what your father wants and your father pays the bills. If I want to do it, I'm gonna do it. That was beautiful. I didn't know that grooming could get so cool. Like those were actually works of art. I have never seen anything like it. I also feel very inspired to actually groom my dog. I kind of want to do it myself. We'll see. Make sure you follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles as well as my hair care and hair color brand who has new colors launching on October 21st. We have a lime green, slate gray, berry, turquoise, and coral. So if you like any of those colors, make sure you get on the site on that day. I'm very excited. It's time for a new hair color for myself, I think. Maybe lime green? We'll see. And if you'd like more information about that, you can head to the website linked right below. There'll also be information on our Instagram page. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.